Hello friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see about the difference between enriched media and enrichment media. Before seeing the difference, we are going to see what is fastidious organism. Fastidious organism is any organism that has complex or specific nutritional requirements. These organisms will grow only if specific nutrients are added in its medium. Example, Neisseria gonorrhoeae, which requires blood or hemoglobin and several amino acids and vitamins to grow. Next, we are going to see about enriched media. The term enriched means to make rich or richer. Some organisms are more exciting in their nutritional needs. To support the growth of these organisms, substances such as blood, serum, egg are added to a basal medium. This medium is known as enriched medium. Enriched media contains growth factors, vitamins and other essential nutrients to promote the growth of fastidious organisms. Example, blood agar, chocolate agar, egg media, etc. For your easy understanding, we can also define enriched media as follows. In order to support the growth of fastidious organisms, we are making a medium more richer and we are calling that medium as a enriched medium. Next, we are going to see about enrichment media. Let's say the meaning of the term enrichment. Enrichment means the act or process of improving the quality or power of something by adding something else. We learned the meaning of the term enrichment. Now let's see what is enrichment media. Enrichment media. An enrichment medium contains some component that permits the growth of specific types or species of bacteria because these specific organisms alone can utilize the component from that medium. This explains why we named this medium as a enrichment medium because we are adding some components that permits the growth of specific types or species of bacteria. That means we are improving or powering or supporting the growth of bacteria by adding some components to the medium. For better understanding, we will see one example. In mixed cultures, the bacteria to be isolated is often overgrown by the unwanted bacteria. Unwanted means non-pathogenic or common cell bacteria. For example, if we want to isolate Salmonella typhi from feces, Salmonella typhi being overgrown by S. ratio coli in cultures from feces. In such situation, substances which support the growth of bacteria to be isolated or substances with an inhibitory effect on those unwanted bacteria are incorporated in the medium. The important point to be noted here is that by using this medium, we are actually improving the power of bacteria by adding some substances which support the growth of bacteria to be isolated or substances with an inhibitory effect on those unwanted bacteria. So, we are using the term enrichment media. Example, tetrathionate broth, where the tetrathionate inhibits coliforms while allowing typhoid and paratyphoid bacilli to grow. Another example is selenite F broth. Enrichment medium is a liquid medium. We are using the enrichment media before culturing in order to increase the number of the organisms to be isolated and eliminate the unwanted organisms. Let's see the difference between 
enriched media and enrichment media enriched media supports the growth of fastidious bacteria enrichment media supports the growth of a specific type of bacteria and also inhibit the growth of unwanted bacteria enriched media are agar based or solid media enrichment media or liquid media in enriched media addition of extra nutrients that is blood serum egg yolk etc to the basal medium makes the medium more rich to support the growth of fastidious organisms in enrichment media addition of antibiotics dyes chemicals alteration of ph etc makes the medium more selective that is permitting the growth of particular type of bacteria and inhibiting the growth of unwanted bacteria friends i am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video thank you friends